Okay, well I've started to sketch a diagram for this particular cyclist and uh, we need to finish it off but you're going to need to do a sketch so it's hopefully going to look something along these kind of lines. We've got the cyclist then with a mass of 75 kilograms and the, she's cycling up this straight road inclined at 5 degrees then to the horizontal. We're told that there's a resistance to motion of the cyclist from non-gravitational forces and that constant force, that resistance is 20 newtons. So we need to put that in. So we're going to have a force acting back in this direction of 20 newtons. Okay, what else have we got? We're told that she is decelerating at... 12, uh, 0.2 meters per second when she's cycling up at a speed of 12 meters per second. Now this is quite unusual when we get this deceleration in questions. So she's decelerating, she's going upwards but slowing down. So what I'm going to do, and you've got two choices here, I'm going to have an acceleration arrow going upwards but because she's decelerating it's going to have a negative value, minus 0 0.2 meters per second per second. You could if you wanted to draw the arrow in the opposite direction but then you'll have to write 0 0.2 meters per second per second, okay, not with a minus on. Anyway, so we've got to find the rate at which the cyclist is working at this particular instant. Now I need to put some more forces acting on this cyclist on the diagram. We've got obviously the weight of the cyclist. If she's got a mass of 75 kilograms, then the weight acts downwards and it's going to be mg, 75g newtons then acting downwards. There's going to be her contact force from the slope. So that's going to be acting at right angles then. We'll call it R Newtons. And because she is pedaling up the hill, she's going to be applying a driving force, which I'm going to call D, D Newtons. So how are we going to work out this rate that the cyclist is working at this particular instant? Well, her rate of working is basically her power. And we should be familiar with this equation that power, okay, let's say power P equals the driving force, D in this case, times the speed V that she's going up at. Now, we've got to work out what D is. We know what V is, it's the 12, but we need to work out what D is. And to do that, what we're going to do is to resolve up the plane in the direction of motion. So let me just put a dotted line in from here down to here as I normally do. And we've got the angle of the plane that be in here as 5 degrees. So in the usual way then, if we resolve up the plane in the direction of motion to get what the value of D is, then we've got all of D acting up the plane. Obviously R doesn't come into this because it's perpendicular to the direction we're resolving in. Then we've got minus 20. And we've got the component of the weight down the plane, which is going to be 75G sine of 5 degrees. So that's minus 75G sine of 5 degrees. So that's our resultant force acting up the plane and it equals mass times acceleration. The mass is 75 but be careful here the acceleration is minus 0.2. Okay, minus 0.2. So we can rearrange this to get what D is by simply adding 20 and 75 G sine 5 to both sides. So you're going to have 20 plus 75 g sine 5 degrees and then for this term well that's just going to be minus 75 times the 0 0.2. Okay so you're going to need a calculator for that. Now if you work that out on your calculator you'll find you get 
five, nine, and so on. Okay, and that'd be measured in newtons. Now we know that power, the rate of doing work then, is equal to the driving force times the velocity. So we can say that when V equals 12, we can substitute this into our equation, okay, knowing that D is that, we can substitute into here, and we therefore have that the power, okay, is equal to D, 69.059 and so on multiplied by V which is 12 and if you work that out you end up with 826.7136 and so on now this power will be measured in watts okay so what's that power going to be then if we round it to say three significant figures where well, it's going to be 827 watts okay to three significant figures you might want to give it in kilowatts if you do in kilowatts it's going to be divided by a thousand so it's going to be 0.827 kilowatts okay also to 3sf you just choose whatever you want okay and uh, as I say, that is the rate of doing work, okay?